Dear students, now we are going to discuss dominant mode, degenerate mode and evanescent mode in waveguides. Let's start with this dominant mode. It is the mode or wave which is having the lowest cutoff frequency. So whenever the cutoff frequency is low, then the attenuation factor also very less. Due to the smallest attenuation, this dominant mode provides better wave propagation in the waveguide. So we can prefer the dominant mode for better wave propagation in waveguide. For rectangular waveguide, the dominant modes are TE10 and TM11. Okay. For circular waveguide, TE11 and TM01. So these all are the dominant modes for rectangular and circular waveguides. Okay. Next one is degenerate mode. Some of the higher order modes having the same cutoff frequency but different field components. These are called as degenerate modes. So these are the non-propagating modes. Okay. All TEMN and TMMN with a condition M is not equal to 0 and N is not equal to 0 or degenerate modes. Example we can say TE23 and TM23 these two modes are having the same cutoff frequency with different field components. So these two are degenerate modes which cannot propagate in the waveguide. Similarly, we can say TM12 and TE12. Next one is MNSN mode. So, these all are the modes which are having the frequency below the cutoff frequency. As we all know that whenever the frequency is less than the cutoff frequency, there is no wave propagation. So, here MNSN mode is a non-propagating mode. Example, TM01 and TM10, these two modes do not exist in a rectangular waveguide. Okay?